My name is Carla Overman. Hello, welcome to Cherrywood Live, Thursday night at 7 p.m. My name is Carla Overland and I am the owner of Cherrywood Hand Dyed Fabrics. I'm so glad you joined me tonight and um, it's going to be an exciting, colorful evening. And I am I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my friend Wendy Richardson from Quilt Tapestry Studios. Um, Cherrywood Fabrics is based out of Brainerd, Minnesota and we dye all these luscious gorgeous colors right here in our studio and we are known for our solid colors that actually they're not quite solid they look like suede and they have a subtle tone on tone variation to the fabric and a brushed feel and that's what makes it look like suede um, we start out with an unbleached muslin high quality and we get these gorgeous saturated colors and we bundle them together in gradation like this. So this we call an eight step gradation, an eight step fat quarter bundle because each of these pieces is a single color, but you can get it in fat quarter pieces, half yard pieces or full yard pieces. And the fun thing about cherry wood is it complements any kind of fabric, batiks, any kind of commercial fabric, you can find a gradation usually or a color of cherry wood to offset it, to complement it, to go with it. And that is why we just love fabric from Wendy Richardson Quilt Tapestry Studios. So she is purchasing um, commercially printed fabric off the bolt. Um, she looks for any brand, anything that strikes her eye. And then she is using a different dyeing technique than Cherrywood does to um, add color on top of the printed fabric. So <clears throat> this piece here, I happen to have a couple of pieces of, and this piece she's done in a hot pink, but she may take that same commercial fabric and do it in a different colorway. Um, this is like a cheddar yellow, uh, marigold orange. And, um, a lot of pieces are like this where you have several colors. She will add hand apply the dye and she'll add yellows and reds and pinks and they will be expertly mixed together and create these layers and layers of color. Isn't this gorgeous? This is one of my favorites. Every time we get a shipment from Wendy, I usually have to pick out um, a couple pieces that don't actually make it to you guys because I love them so much and of course it matches me. As you can see the vest I am wearing is a combination of cherry wood and Wendy Richardson over dyed print fabric and this beautiful buffalo we have back here. This pattern is called Rome and it is designed by sewn from Wyoming and we combined for the head this is all kind of crazy foundation piecing and that is all over dyed fabric over dyed printed fabric and then the body in the background is cherry wood so we only have two kits available um, because Wendy's fabric is one of a kind every piece is different so we have selected um, a combination of colors that look nice together. We've only got two kits on our website right now, and those are um, $168, and you get two yard pieces of the over dyed print, and also four yards of background of cherry wood, and one yard for the body of the buffalo, or the bison, sorry. So check that out on our live tab on our website, which is cherrywoodfabrics.com. Anything that I mentioned tonight, um, mostly I'm concentrating on Wendy Richardson's fabric, but um, 
uh, we also have this pattern that I'm wearing. It is called the cobblestone vest and it is based off a pattern by <coughs> Lorraine Torrance. I'll step back here. Maybe you, I'm wearing the hip length. And again, this is a combination of cherry wood and Wendy's fabric. And in the pattern, I give you cutting, um, a cutting guide. So if you want to do this kind of piecing, and also you can see that there's some black coloring on there. Um, in the kit, you get a black permanent marker and instructions on how to do this cobblestoning effect that I did with my fabric. And basically it's all these pieces were sewn together and then the black marker is um, applied to the seams after it's sewn together and it makes it look like cobblestone. Um, another idea for using, now Wendy Richardson does over dyed prints. She also does linens and vintage laces. I'm just going to show you this piece quick. And I should mention that in the past when I have shown Wendy's fabric, I have held up a piece of fabric, one piece, and given it a number, and then people in the comments will claim it if they want it. And it was first come, first serve. Um, we have so many pieces right now. I have photographed them all and put them on our website. I have a, a section just for Wendy Richardson's fabric. So it is still first come, first serve, but everything is photographed and pictured there. So you can see everything all at once and select the pieces that you want. So this is another fun piece that probably was just a black and white fabric. And this piece, you can see she has added several colors and it goes nicely with the piece I have back here. So there's some pinks, some orange, some purple. And we often, the reason we're carrying Wendy's fabric is because it goes so nicely with our bundles. So I would put this with our Renaissance eight step fat quarter bundle. Now, speaking of matching it up with cherry wood, all, um, I'm pretty sure I've gotten to it all, but all of Wendy's pieces that we list on our website, um, uh, her fabric is $24 a yard. And then if you select, there'll be a drop down and you can select a cherry wood match of four fat quarters that we will hand select. We will pick out the exact um, complements and we will pick up four fat quarters of cherry wood solid colors and you can add that to your shopping cart as well. So that's a fun feature. Um, I should say that some of her fabrics on our website are one yard pieces. Um, some are half yard pieces and we have a just a huge variety of colors and prints. This is the one piece that we have that is a two yard piece and we left it as a two yard piece because it's such a big, bold print. Um, isn't that awesome? Oh, that'd be such a cool jacket if you're so bold. Um, I have made long vests with Wendy's fabric because then you don't have to cut it up so much. And another thing that she dyes is um, vintage lace. So she will get these gorgeous crocheted, sometimes hardanger, and she will apply the dye um, very specifically to the parts of the vintage lace. And they're just gorgeous. And each one, again, is one of a kind. Each piece, it could be smaller, or bigger, or lacier, and you know, they're from all over. But an idea for using these pieces um, a while back, I made this mini star storm pattern. I taught a class and um, this is what was our Christmas variation. So this is the mini star storm kit and it's great for Christmas. It's put together in strips and sections, wedges, and there's 10 wedges that are all the same. But by the time you put them together, it makes this gorgeous five point star. Well, when you're teaching a class and you're kind of talking and sewing at the same time, seams aren't quite precise. So all of the seams, all 10 seams that came to the middle in my piece did not quite line up. 
even though I'm sure all of my students had perfect centers, my piece did not line up. So I happened to be kind of had both of these things at my arm, at the, my fingertips and realized that the colors of that vintage lace were perfect for this quilt and also covered up my bad seams in the middle. So isn't that awesome? I, um, I took little pieces of Misty Fuse, which is a fusible, and I have just put them in the, the more dense parts of the lace and just attached it that way. I also cut out some parts of the lace. This happened to be a, a, a kind of a knotted lace that I could tell that if I trimmed it a little bit, it would not fall apart. So I opened up some sections so that my cherry wood design would come through a little bit more. So you can see the center star just a little bit better. Um, but there's an idea. It's fun to have these, these things that you love and collect and then all of a sudden inspiration strikes. Now this piece I'm pretty proud of. This I am just quilting so it is not finished. But this started out as a kind of a half circle doily of uh, vintage lace from Wendy. And I just love the colors. I happen to be working on a project that had these cherry wood colors in it. It all came together. Um, and as you can see, I cut it up. So I applied Misty Fuse to the entire um, back of the lace piece. And then I applied it onto a piece of cherry wood, this color. So I stabilized it first. And I thought maybe the Misty Fuse which is a very lacy glue. I thought maybe it would just attach to the, the um, lace itself and then not the openings. I thought when I peeled it off, it would come off. Um, it didn't, but I used a black Misty Fuse. So it's still in there and it actually just kind of creates a, a cool texture that I am happy to just leave in there. And of course my iron can't touch it or it will melt, but this lace is so thick. In fact, you might, you can kind of get a feel for how, as I'm quilting this, this whole area is not quilted and it's, it's pretty starched and, and thick. So I'm not worried about the misty fuse um, causing any problems, but isn't this, I'm just loving this. I'm just, um, Again, stabilizing the lace onto cherry wood, cutting out the shapes. I did zigzag around the edges of the lace to make sure they stayed put. And I'm quilting um, reminiscent kind of design lines into the cherry wood leaves. And it is just so much fun. So that is a, uh, an idea for what to do with um, Wendy's over dyed lace pieces, which Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of them right now. We sold out of a few over the weekend. Um, I've got this one and a few others left, but I've already told Wendy to get busy dying. Um, and these are some of her finished pieces, which we have for sale on our website. And she is just so creative with layering textures and colors and so this is a um, tatting piece and in the red she's doing seed stitching so this is actually a finished piece an original work of art by wendy that is for sale on our website cherrywoodfabrics.com this piece is uh, 58 dollars we do have a cute set here these two were created from a kitchen towels we have a mr and a mrs and all these pieces are about 14 inches square. And you got, can see on our website, I've got some detail shots. Um, but this woman is washing dishes and also throwing them at her husband. Really cute pieces. These are sold separately, so snatch those up quickly. And then we have this cute little Christmas ornament pieced from Wendy's own hand-dyed printed fabric. Um, there is a tatting lace piece. It's all put together on a painted wooden 
um, embroidery hoop and hand stitched and there's little tiny seed beads here. It's just a gorgeous piece. One of a kind, snatch it up while you can. Um, so what else do I have to show before I, um, before I talk about, well, before I show you the video, um, this video, actually, we sat down months ago. It seems like time is going so slow and yet it's going so fast. So this is an interview I did with Wendy and, um, gives you some insight to, um, her beautiful creative eye and her process. Um, oh, here's a piece here that, for instance, when I was talking about the, the cherry wood match, here is a piece of Wendy's printed fabric over dyed. And this would be something that we would match it up with if you chose to do the cherry wood match. So very complimentary colors. Um, it gives you a little more flexibility to have a print and a solid so that you can just play and create. So that would be a, an example of how we would do that cherry wood match. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to share the interview I did with Wendy. And while you are watching that, I am going to be um, making all of the fabric that I added to the website live. So after the interview, and um, I'll just wrap up with some comments, and then you can go shopping at cherrywoodfabrics.com and go to the live tab where you will find um, the uh, Rome kits for this cool bison. Um, again, only two of those. You will find um, some, the uh, vest that I'm wearing, kits and patterns for that. Um, you will find some socks. She also dyes bamboo socks and she'll talk about that in the video. Uh, you'll find some of her vintage lace pieces. You'll find her original artwork pieces. Um, and one more thing before I let you watch the video. I am so excited for a, um, I touched on this the last week. We are doing a um, subscription program starting January 1st. So we want you to be signed up by December 15th. You've got a month to think about this, but every month you are going to get a um, fat quarter eight step bundle. But these aren't just any fat quarter eight step bundles. These are bundles from our past. We're calling it batch from the past. And that is because I have cracked open our dye formula books and I have picked out a selection of 12 of our older formulas. Some you may remember, some may be new to you, maybe some just didn't make the cut. And so you will get, it's two yards of fabric, eight fat quarters. We are selecting two spools of Orofil 50 weight thread. This of course does not match, but each month we'll pick out two that go with a gradation bundle. So it's a great way to stock up on your thread too, because the more colors of thread you have, the better. So we'll get two spools that are perfectly um, matched to this. Um, and then you also get a free project or pattern. And I'm having such a good time going through our history, which is over 30 years. And um, our founder, Dawn Hall, she designed and wrote patterns and um, we still have some of her original designs. Um, so for instance, the first month, this is a very small picture, but she did a lot of this optical illusion designing. So the gradations of the cherry wood would just create these amazing uh, designs. And we happen to have this original pattern, which was called refracted lights. And I, several years ago, started to attempt to um, make my own sample and it's this kind of idea where you're using eight gradation single colors and um, putting together a checkerboard but one color is gradating left to right while the other is gradating um, top to bottom really cool um, optical illusion all made from squares so the first month we are featuring cranberry to light which um, i also I, there's always a story between, behind what I 
why I chose these gradations. So you'll get a little postcard and that tells you the story. You'll get your thread, you'll get your free pattern or project. Um, and I also started a Facebook group called the Cherrywood Club and you get access to that where I'm going to be sharing stories, um, old photos, and we can share um, and just become a community because there are not that many spaces in this program. I'm dying exactly one batch. So however many bundles we can get out of one batch, that's all we have. So they're very limited quantities. People have been signing up like crazy. So it, um, the price is $69 a month plus tax. And right now we are um, just adding a Minnesota tax because that's where we are. So um, it comes to about $74 a month. And you can sign up right on our homepage on cherrywoodfabrics.com. And I'll take you gather your information. You'll um, pay for that first month now. And then every um, beginning of the month starting in February, you'll get your credit card will be charged. You'll we'll send out a new package with a new bundle, more thread and another project. And it'll be a surprise. So we're way excited about this. It's a great way to build up your stash of all sorts of colors. I'm, I'm picking lights and darks and, and um, a lot of different bundles and to build up your thread stash. And of course, Aurofil is a great thread. Um, so I'm looking forward to building up my thread stash too. So please sign up for that. It's a great Christmas gift for you or um, tell your uh, people who are asking you what you would like for Christmas. And this would be a wonderful thing for a spouse to give to you or you to give to yourself because my gosh, you deserve it. So a uh, batch from the past. So now I am going to um, let you listen to Wendy for a while and uh, listen to her look, her take on color and dyeing and she's just a wonderful artist. So enjoy and we'll see you in a little bit. So joining me is Wendy Richardson from the Twin Cities area. I'm about two hours north of the cities. And Wendy, nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Carla. I miss you. <laughs> I know, I miss you too. I have, what, I drove up right when COVID started and brought you a bunch of fabric and ran back home, but. Yes, I have stacks of Wendy's fabric that we're gonna talk about. So tell me about your style of dyeing and um, how it's different and how it's similar to Cherrywood. Well, it's similar because we're both dying and that's about where it ends, right? Um, <laughs> you, you do a total immersion and I do a low water immersion. And I like that because I can use more than one color at a time. Right. And your specialty is one color that you can depend on, which is great too. And they really work well together. So I, admired Dawn's work when she started Cherry Wood. I fell in love with the colors that you get when you dye fabric with Procyon MX dyes. They're just magical colors. And, but back in the day when I was quilting, when I started quilting, we always used prints. And I, I couldn't quite make that transition. And I thought, well, why don't I just take prints and see if I can put those colors on the prints that I like? and it wow. took a little practice at first but <laughs> um you know after doing it for almost 30 years I it's it's uh people say oh you just throw it on and you're surprised it's like no I'm not surprised anymore I I get what I want to get and yeah that's you can tell that it takes a skilled hand you're yeah. specifically placing um, colors where and mixing mm -hmm. the colors and you know what the colors are gonna do when they touch each other. Like this is a great example of one of Wendy's pieces that has several colors of dye added to a commercially printed fabric. Right. So when you use that fabric, if you buy a yard, you can use green on one project, red in another project, the bluey part in it, you know, another 
project. So it's, I think they're pretty useful. Yes. And that's why they go so nicely with cherry wood bundles, because if we have a gradation of eight solid colors, most likely those colors are in one piece of um, yep. Right. So you so, yeah. are always looking for commercially off the bolt fabric to start Printed. with. Right. Um, I look for fabric that has, well, first of all, I have to like the pattern. The pattern is very important to me. I love the nature prints, butterflies, leaves, things like that. Um, but also the contrast of the background to the print. So I can't buy a fabric that has almost, you know, that's very pale and the, um, the motif is very pale because then I'll just, if I dye it, it'll disappear. Or depending on what color it is, you know, then I can't dye this color on top of that because it'll just get ugly, icky color. So it's all kind of a, a little thought process I go through, like a little card file and just, and if all those boxes are ticked, then I'll take, I'll buy that fabric. Yeah. And, and then there's that green, that green that we all love. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It sounds like this piece, well, no. I was going to say it was mostly all the same green, but when you open up Changes green. Fabric, the color, of course, is not going to be true to life, but no. part of this piece is a yellow green and then part of it is bluish green. Very. So that's not a usual fabric for me to buy either, though, because it's symmetrical and I hardly ever, that's not my favorite, but I, I love that design. So. It's not as exciting when it's symmetrical. It's harder to work with, I think. I I don't know. Depends. It's cool for borders and things. Right. But if it if it really bothers you when you have to fussy cut, then maybe it's not the right fabric for you. And then a piece like this, I'll get close. Oh, with words and letters and yeah. Yeah, I love letters. I'm a sucker for any writing. Yep, me too. And I'm assuming this was a, was it like a gray? To begin? It was a pale, yeah, a pale gray. Was so I couldn't, green? yeah, I had to dye that pretty, pretty lightly because it would disappear. Right. Yeah, the, the, the words are very light. So, mm -hmm. so when you add, like here she's talking about maybe, couldn't go much darker than that, or you wouldn't be able to see right. the original fabric. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love about that. Th there's two things going on here. There's the, the first layer of the print, and then what you've added on top of it just makes it amazing. Different. Yeah, one of a kind. And this is a great piece, too, where we have blue and yellows mm -hmm. and pinks. Mm -hmm and sometimes some greens. So this would be a fun one to match up with a cherry wood bundle or two. Now you also, I don't know if we talked about, these are all 100% cotton, but yes. you also play with linen and bamboo. Um, so also doing a lot of things like we talked about earlier, I don't sell on my website. I miss going to shows like most of us. Um, so you're nice enough to sell things with your things because they go together. Um, but I also do, I'm just not set up at home to do a mail order thing and computers and pictures. And well, so, cause I'm you. <laughs> scarves, it's just me. So I do scarves and socks and linens and lace and all kinds of stuff. So I, um, I'm happy to send my fabric elsewhere to get sold until I can come back and see people. Yeah, well, we are happy to sell it. At least I have some people helping me with the photography and getting on the website and doing these live sales. Right. You know, because each piece is individual, you know, I, I can't imagine if you had to photograph every single piece and by the time you got it onto your website, it would be gone. Right. So. Yeah. So that's why we are delighted to be a carrier. <laughs> We're a carrier of Wendy. 
It's catchy. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> we caught the bug. <laughs> bug. And yeah, there's a lot of people out there that are um, Wendy fans that um, now that we're kind of getting known for having your fabric in the Cherrywood mm -hmm. booth, they come running into the booths on opening day and ask, where's Wendy's fabric? Because right. they know that if you see it, you got to buy it. Got to buy it. Because you don't have as much as I would if I were there. So, right. Yeah, right your now. booth is just full of all this stuff that you just want to touch. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Like, what's hanging behind you? That's pretty cool. I've had this on Facebook before. Yes. Um, hexagon quilt. And the line, sorry. So you've added this, black? Well, that, think of that as a pencil line. I'm kind of auditioning what I want to do next. So I did a paper pattern of this and put it on Misty F or Wonder Under, I think. So I have the paper. And then I picked out a green fabric and I might um, fuse a spiral on out of fabric. Oh, okay. cool. We'll see. We have to cut it out and visually see if we like it first. So. And then you've added leaves? I've got some leaves. Those are real oak leaves that I salvaged, you know, out in the yard and things like that. So. And all my shibori, these are all shibori hexagons, over dyed print. Yeah. So that's another thing that Cherry Wood does not do is shibori. Can you kind of explain what that is? So shibori is pleating. And so when you have a, I use a yard, I think, and instead of scrunching it in a container or a flat tray, you very carefully, I pleat mine on on a flat surface or you can wind it or on a tube scrunch it down and wrap it there's different or folding techniques but i mostly do the pleats and and put the dye on that way very cool very cool effect i like it it's fun that's something i don't always know what i'm going to get so yeah that's true you can put the colors where you want them but they move. Well, yep. and then they sit in the dye, you know, they kind of, unlike, um, unlike it, when it's smushed, you can't really see, I don't want to pick it up. So um, it kind of mixes underneath more than you might guess. So, right. but I've been happy with it. So it's fun. Yeah. And that, I can't wait to see that piece finished. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, getting it off your dining room table was a good thing. <laughs> it was a good thing. Yes, it's been on uh, on the counter. It's been on the middle of the living room floor. So, yeah, you had to think about it a lot. You have to think about it for a while. So, so Wendy, I'm gonna hold up a few of my favorite pieces that we have to see okay. if you can give us a little insight. So this is a very interesting piece. Oh, I love that piece. I like it because it's very um, painterly. And again, because it's not regular. And it's got little etchy looking things, little circle looking things. And right. I like the, yeah, the flow of the color. It's asymmetrical. It's yep. not like a, a calico kind of thing. And right. holding it from the back, Maybe you can see it. I always like to look at the back of Wendy's fabric because then you can see what the original fabric looked like a little better. And you can also see um, where, where I add. Yeah. yeah, adding color and how it mixes together. Yeah, so this is a one yard piece. Very cool and artsy. And it's got this interesting rust no those little orange rusty spots yeah yeah that's cool i've done a little bit of rust dyeing that's what it reminds me of and we actually have like this is a one yard piece and we have a second one yard piece now would you have dyed both of these together or do you just dye one yard pieces at a time 
I dye two yard pieces at a time and then cut them in half. So that looks pretty similar. It was probably in the same dye bath. And how much of like one print would you have at a time? Or is it just depends on what you find? Depends on what I find. And if I find something I really like, I'll buy everything that's there. It wasn't very much of that one that you're holding up, but I like the quality of the fabric. It's really, um, it's a nice tight weave and it's a nice smooth finish on it, I think. It feels if like I, a peak. Yeah. Yeah, and a very subtle flower pattern. Be nice for a background. Yes. Gray flowers and then the just the beautiful touches of blue dye that you added. And we've got another piece of that, but I'm wondering if this was a different batch because there's more color on this piece. Probably a different container. We added more blue. Okay. This oh, another polka, polka dot. dot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is almost solid. This was about as close to solid. Well, no, see, every time you open it up, you see more color. Different greens, little yellow. I have a hard time leaving colors out. They're like, they all want to play. Yes. Um, have I hold this one up? We didn't talk I, about butterflies. I'm not sure if you did or not. Yellows, greens, blues. Thanks. Yeah. We kind of walked around Cherrywood and decided that there's pretty much no, this would go with every single one of our bundles. <laughs> <laughs> because you hold it next to purple and you see yeah. purple and. Mm -hmm. I think I did some masks out of that one. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. And I'm not even a butterfly person and I love that piece. Well, here. Do you not be a butterfly person? Well, I'm not a pink person either. Oh, okay. So, well, monarchs are. <laughs> I love pieces like this. That one. Yeah, with kind of like writing and kind of, yeah. Kind of like a hieroglyphic scribbling or something. Yep. So, this was black and white to start with? Kind of gray, grayed out white, off white but a nice high contrast. Right, so your colors can come through. So when you look at the back of this. Mm -hmm. like, and it's a little, it's regular, but it's kind of not regular. So yeah, those are all the colors I added. So you can use the back, the front and back of a piece. Mm -hmm. and there you go. And then you throw in a little cherry wood for even more solid and you're all set. You're all set. Um, this is a fun graphic one. Oh, the little moons. I don't know. I call them moons. Yeah. So when you kind of something all over. Like this, you probably would have dyed this in several colors, like a red and a purple. And red. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, that was definitely a neutral gray and, and off-white and, and black. This one we've been calling wallpaper because it reminds me <laughs> of the wallpaper in a, my old piano teacher's house. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. You know, like yeah. it's striped and kind of paisley. Right, oh, kind of old fashioned, yep. Yeah. Oh, but look at this side. It's a more modeled. Yep, I like it. So a lot of colors in the original fabric which means you probably didn't feel like you needed to add too many more colors. So basically, I don't, I don't think I could because it was a little bit on the darker side. Yeah, very cool. Oh, this piece is just simple polka dots, but 
this. Like, wow, look at all these colors in one yard of fabric. That's a pretty bright one. Yep. And I love how the yellow and the reddish pinkish, mm -hmm. they touch and they make that interesting bronzy color. I love yellow. It's not a very popular color, but I like it. It's a happy color. Yeah, it's definitely happy and dramatic. You know, reds are hard to, to work with for dyes. They don't, they don't play well with other colors, with other dye colors. So I tend to use more of a pinky oh. dye. Yeah, because reds yeah. first. And so it doesn't always like mix with the other colors. Okay. But the pink, pinky does a little bit more, so. I know I have issues with the red dyes just not dissolving, mm -hmm. leaving little polka dots, which we call little it. all over, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's another botanical one. You can tell that you're always looking for botanical yeah. leafy prints. Oh, yeah. We got trees and pineapples on it and butterflies and palm trees. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Blues and yellows. And this really pale lime green with just the, how does that show very well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love your eye for color. Thank you. You're not doing too bad yourself, dear. Mutual <laughs> admiration, right? So you have, yeah, you have great colors. Um, so yeah, I have a whole pile of stuff here. And this is just the one yard cuts that we have. And we also have some half yard cuts. I haven't even shown on the live shows, we have a big box of your bamboo socks. Okay. And so some of them are crew. Well, tell us about your socks. The ankle socks? Yeah, some are short and some are anklets. Yeah, the sport socks and then otherwise the crew socks. You know, fall is coming. Yeah, and I kind of wear them around the house as slippers in the fall because they're just mm -hmm. the right thickness Yep. to keep your toes warm, but they fit inside a shoe just fine. So They do, and they absorb the sweat, which is really nice, so they don't feel so hot. Yeah, and I hate shoes anyway, so I'm always, you know, barefoot or with Wendy socks on because I think I have to look at my feet that I'd like them to be colorful. <laughs> there we go. Head to toe. Right. So this has in the background has the template fabric in the background. And then um, so the hand dyed vintage laced and then a zillion French knots in the middle. So oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. So now it looks like a sunflower with the seeds in the in the middle. That's, that's cool. Yeah. That's what I like to play with. When I play with my stuff. They look great on your doors in the in the office there. Yeah. Yeah, we have cherry wood on the doors here and then we stuck some of Wendy's lace on there and went, Wow, that's the most amazing door ever. <laughs> <laughs> they did look pretty cool. Yeah. And they stuck too. That's mm -hmm. that brush quality of cherry wood. It's, it's you can use it like a design wall. I just love that. Right. It just sticks like to it. magic, magic. Yeah. So no, I just can't wait to see everybody again. I don't know when that's going to be, but um, so thanks, Carla. Well, you're welcome. Hopefully, to see you soon. Yes, I hope so. We can meet up on the highway or something. You never know. Yeah. Someday we can get together and die. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. We have not done that. Well, aren't you excited about all of her fabric? So um, again, I am not going to be selling on social media tonight. I'm not. Um, it's still first come, first serve. But we have yards and yards of Wendy's fabric listed on our website. And every piece is one of a kind. Sometimes we will have two or three, maybe four four pieces that are all um, the same kind of fabric but when she manipulates and puts that dye on every single piece is different 
So go to uh, cherrywoodfabrics.com and you can either go to the tab that says Wendy Richardson or you can go to the live tab and everything that I've talked about tonight and um, lots of half yard pieces, full yard pieces, um, the bamboo socks that she was talking about, um, her original works of art, original pieces by Wendy herself which always include hand stitching and embellishing and just gorgeous pieces that be very proud to have and just have fun and um, it's been a stressful week for everybody and boy this certainly helps with the stress level to just pet some beautiful fabric so thanks again for joining me and we will see you next week good night